Okay, so now I've got a, I know where my rear foot on my cook chamber is gonna be. It's gonna be 110 inches from the front of the trailer back. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook right here, measure back to 110. That's gonna put me a mark right here. So that way, when I put my cross member in, it's in the right place already for my cook chamber to have a, a mount to sit on. Okay, now 110 is gonna be the rear of that of that cross member. So I'm actually gonna move it to the front of that mark, 110. All right. Transfer that mark over here. Okay. I've got this cross member marked out where I want it for my tank to have a foot to sit on right here. It's probably just gonna be a uh, plate with a radius cut out of it that'll sit on this cross member and my cook chamber will sit down on that. And I've got it right here with my marks on that side of my line at 110 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and notch out this cross member and get it fit in place and squared up and everything. One important thing to note, whenever I build a trailer for a smoker, I don't put a cross member at the very end. I, I'm just gonna let that run wild. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because after I get everything mounted on the smoker, on the trailer, my cooker on this trailer, whatever else is gonna be on here, then I'm gonna make it look good. And I can piece in that that stuff and let it run into the firebox, like my rear cross member will be split by the firebox. I can piece that in and I can put some plate in there, something decorative, whatever I want, to kind of box that in and make it look good. So for now, we, the only thing we care about is getting something for the smoker to sit on. Once it's sitting on there, we got our axles hung and wheels on it, the tongue hung, we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and notch this now. Okay guys, so I've got this uh, cross member all notched and everything. I'm just gonna basically pound it into place. Right here's my mark. I'm pretty close on the other side. I use a dead blow. It's like the measurements are exact. We fit in this web just perfect. All I gotta do is just tap it into place. Okay, like I said, we tack everything in place. We don't weld it solid right now. So I'm gonna put, basically I'm gonna put four or five tacks on each side of this, get it where I want it. The next thing I could do is set my axles or I could go ahead and work on the tongue next. It's just kind of whichever one I choose. And I think I'm gonna actually work on the tongue next. So stand by. Like I said, you always wanna make tacks where you can cut them. So I put these tacks in the corners on the inside of this here where it's gonna be really easy just to get a grinder out and cut those real quick and then I can move my cross member if I was wrong, which never happens by the way. All right guys, so we've got all, we got this cross member and that rear cross member put in place for our cook chamber. The only other one I gotta figure out now is where I'm gonna put the one for the front end of my tank. Now I happen to know that the very, very, very tip of that cooker is gonna sit right here on this edge of this cross member here. So I could literally just come back 15 inches, but I wanna spend a little bit more time on my design before I put this next one in. Just kind of see it in person. So the next thing I would do in this situation is I would go ahead and start working on this tongue. So I've already got my pieces of channel cut and uh, all we gotta really do is just get them in here and mock them up and uh, notch them where they get notched. So anyway, we're gonna reset so we can do that. 